You know, it's a man, it's pressure, it's brotherhood, that phenomenal loyalty, which apparently is quite recognizable. You start out being loyal to your country, and then you're loyal to your service, and then you're loyal to your whatever it is that it goes down in, you know, battalion, your troop. But you end up being loyal to one other person. Mm. And if that other person dies or is betrayed in some way, yeah. that's one of the things which is, you know, traceably provable to yeah. drive a chap over the edge. I was in the army myself for a bit. Oh. Didn't never did never did war fighting, thank goodness. But for the short time I was in there, what I did was to make friends with a fairly disparate group of people to start with. None, we didn't have much in common at all, mm. other than the fact we put on this uniform. And um, and we went on an exercise, and, and they put us under enormous pressure sort of to, to um, make us grow, I suppose, into soldiers. But what that did was to make us rely hugely on each other. Mm. So I saw the beginnings of it, and the beginnings of the, <coughs> of the comradeship, which does mm. build up. And when you then put that into a live action, which, thank God, I never did, um, you can see... Yeah. Uh, how powerful that would be and that yes then it is your company before everything else the people around you to your left and to your right and behind you you're all looking after each other that way um, there might be something about the cat badge of the regiment but that's as far as the thing goes the, the rest of the rest of it what the politicians are saying or whatever yeah. matters not one bit <laughs>